That's and it was, it was great. great. I'm going to come carol singing at your place. <laughs> it was absolutely great. Unless you set my people free. I am prepared to fight for eternity. After you shot this movie, how do you see Moses now? Is he some sort of superhero? Um, um, you're obviously you're looking at me because it's a superhero <laughs> thing, aren't you there? Um, look, uh, I mean, look, uh, whilst I was filming, there was never a second that I ever said, hmm, Batman, Moses. Um, it's only in interviews that people have started mentioning superhero. What I think is a very reasonable guess to make is that um, no doubt he can be somebody who inspired that, you know? He is somebody who liberated the oppressed. And that is incredibly heroic. Isn't it? I came to tell you something is coming that is far beyond my control. I really liked um, how you portrayed the blacks. Mm -hmm. um, which one was the most interesting one to bring to screen? The honestly, the hardest one. If you're gonna go for the the hardest one, because I couldn't actually position it, was the shadow, the taking mm -hmm. of the firstborn. Mm -hmm. And because I'm very logical, and I started thinking to this logically, how can this entity, which is simply a shadow, described as a shadow, <clears throat> be able to differentiate between a firstborn who could be 80 years old, or could be nine months old, uh, or could be a week old? How do I, how, how would it separate that from um, in, in the Egyptian community? And then I have to buy this idea of taking lamb's blood and spreading it over all the apertures in the buildings to protect them. It's a little bit of a fairy story and I was a little worried about that and I just had, I couldn't think of anything better. So I had to go with that. You have to go with that. And, and I went with that and I think it was successful. Now Christmas is almost around the corner. Um, in which um, way does religion and tradition play a role in your Christmas um, festivities? How you celebrate it? Um, well, you, more you because you're ch the children. It's right, but you know, um, with my children, um, it's 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 more a, an absolute just sort of wild party uh, time. <laughs> you know, I mean, for me, obviously, it's always there and it's present, and you consider the origins. But um, but I do also feel like um, you know, um, regardless of whether you are religious or not. I think it's just a wonderful time of unity and where people come together and put aside differences, you know? Mm -hmm. And surely that is one of the aims of religion, ultimately, you know, when, when, it's, when it's used correctly. And do you have Christmas traditions? For example, every right. year the same food? Mm, I do. I still do tree. Mm. And Very thing. good tradition. <laughs> I, do, I still do tree. Uh, and my children are, are, are grown up. Um, so they have their own children. I've got seven grandchildren. Wow. But we'll all be in different places. So it's just me and the dog and my wife this year, which actually is great. <laughs> so I'm going to have a quiet Christmas for two weeks. And Christian, do you have a special holiday tradition you do every year with your kids? Like um, singing carols? or? Oh, I used to. Did you used to <laughs> sing carols? Oh, yeah. What carols did you sing? Well, I my best Christmases were when I used to live in the country in England, 1972 at 82 in the Cotswolds and they would have bell, they'd have little choir come around ask me to come up the drive because I had a farm and uh, the local so they church, wanted to know you weren't going to shoot them they, they wanted to shoot them. <laughs> and then they'd come and they, or they were bell ringers they'd come stand in the hall and ring bells on Christmas Eve and you'd give them cake and sherry and the kids a drink that and it was, it was great I'm going to come carol singing at your place. It was absolutely great. So we always celebrated with all the trappings of Christmas. And because of that, you get a sense of that the underpinning is fundamentally religious. We have two Christmases because my wife is Serbian. Okay. So we have Christmas on January 7th Same. as well. Oh, you do? Mm. Yeah. 